Right, a bit of an update on the e-bike battery pack. Now, you may have seen some previous videos. Go back and have a look. Uh, I had a battery fire. Um, basically exposed. Well, they weren't exposed at the time, but the conductors on the solder points on the batteries. Some of them are sharp. Where the ends of wires are, and just where the solder's balled up and sharp. Some of them poke their way through the um, multiple layers of ducting tape and uh, insulation tape and uh, they all rubbed together and had a short in the middle of the pack yeah it hasn't seemed to have damaged any of the packs I'm still getting 21 amps into them not a problem at all which is slow to do but the point is there's a lot of energy density in these packs still they're still good which is nice we didn't kill anything now I just have to go through all of these and unfortunately You know, I have to destroy my charging rigs for the uh, crimp terminals because I don't have a great deal of these terminals left. So a lot of these will have to be uh, pulled off to set this up. I might even just leave two. See if I can see how many I end up with, but hopefully I can leave three on the end of the two charging rigs. Uh, so then at least I can charge three to three batteries at a time, kind of thing might even just put a set of little alligator clips off the rest of the charging rig and then I can do four or five. Five at a time would be fine. I can, uh, if I do five at a time this way and then I do one at a time on the lab power supply, you know, I'm getting six at a time, that's alright. That's only, uh, put them on one night and then put them on again in the morning kind of thing and we'll, we'll still be getting them all charged. So, what I'm going to do is pull all these out of here and uh, get hold of all these conductors then we will pull all these batteries out of this nice box that I've got here we'll cut a bit of this foam to go underneath them in the base we've still got the height of the lid you see we've still got plenty of height so we'll make a base up out of this foam this high density stuff we'll solder some new terminals on these we will uh, then go ahead and uh, tape these all up. Still got some tape laying around, and um, then we'll just have to mount this box in the frame of the uh, bike, and we'll be set again. Um, yeah, it shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a drama at all. This will also allow me to, I'll just cut a notch, I can melt a notch out of there so that all of it can be in that case which is wrap a bit of sealing around there pop that handle out, that case is uh, close enough to rain resistant uh, it's not going to be waterproof but it'll be resistant uh, so my little inline amp meter can live in there that little thing's a necessity, it's very handy, it uh, tells you a lot about your battery pack and a lot about what you got left in your battery pack. Then I want to get this back in here and going again because uh, I want to ride my electric bike. As always I've got uh, 18650s on the chargers and discharges. I'm actually running out. Well, that's, about, that's about all the unpulled apart ones I've got left. They're all, all in the process. I've actually got a box Chuck a block full at the moment, so uh, then ones to put on the discharger. Got some of these nice looking Panasonic CGR 18650s, 18650C. There, it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, kind of current I get out of them. But yeah, just like to say thanks to my 12 subscribers. We've got 12 now, slowly growing. I'm going to keep making content. If you like it, or if you can suggest an improvement, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the me. Uh, drop a message to me. Find my page on Facebook. One up sleeve customs and racking. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, come back to you on this video with uh, some progress. I'll uh, get some conductors soldered to these batteries, ready to go, and we'll go from there. All right. Thanks for watching.